you know this ground as well as Graham Corns. Yeah, we often talk about home ground advantages and there really shouldn't ever be the home ground advantage. And our blokes won here a couple of years ago, yeah. so they won't be uh, that unfamiliar with it. And also, just what Sandy said then, have you seen that what is not happening now, you know, with the Melbourne team that was happening, say, five weeks ago? Yeah, it's, it's a hard one. I, I, think, I think most footy today relies on control of the ball around the packs and I think our on-ballers did a terrific job in the first part of the season and the other sides have probably picked up on that. We've lost a, you know, Andrew Ops, for example and a couple of other players which has just taken the edge off and then you lose momentum and, uh, and it's pretty hard to get it back but I think that's the difference just having control of the ball and I think that'll be the difference today. Whichever side gets on top there will I think no doubt win the game. Sandy. Yes, thank you, Neil. Uh, I've got Jared Healy with me. Jared, you've got a question uh, for Barmy? Yeah, just regarding Jimmy Steins, I guess uh, hindsight's a wonderful thing, uh, Neil, but he didn't look quite right last week, but uh, how is he coming up for this week? Oh, he's a freak, uh, Jared. He, I didn't think he'd get up this week at all, um, and then he, he, just, he just got better and better as the week went along, and we tested him pretty seriously this week, which we, we chose not to do last week. Um, you know, trusting him because he's, um, you know, he's got up a few times against all the odds and we thought he's the sort of bloke who deserves to be trusted. Again, in hindsight, we probably would have been better off not playing him, but this week he's really come up and he knows the position he's in and uh, he reckons he'll be 100%. And a couple of uh, Adelaide players you've probably spent a little bit of time uh, thinking about this week, Tony Modra and Tony McGuinness, who were their likely opponents? Well, I haven't thought that much about Modric because I reckon that'll be a result of what happens everywhere else. But Sean White will certainly pick him up and he's got the athleticism to do a good job as long as we stem the flow. And McGuinness is a bloke who uh, I reckon he'd give it away if no one picked him up. He'd reckon he wasn't playing. So <laughs> we'll just pick him up just for the sake of it, I reckon. <laughs> well, you've got to say, last week, Dennis Committee here at the MCG, some heartening signs for Melbourne last week. Well, we're... You know, it's always hard to say. Well, when you lose the game, we were very disappointed at the end of the game, Dennis. But uh, in retrospect, looking at it again, I thought we played pretty reasonable footy, had uh, more than our fair share of it. And if we had finished a little bit better, particularly in the third quarter, things may have been different. All having said that, though, in the last quarter, when it, the game was there to be won and lost, we couldn't quite do enough. So you can't take anything away from Carlton. But overall, I thought we were better than we had been. Neil, Neil. just uh, sorry, just jumping in there. Uh, Jakovic has been such a focal point for you over the last couple of years up forward. He hasn't been playing well and kicking the goals that he should have been. Have you had on one-on-one -on -one with him over the last couple of weeks? Yeah, a fair bit of that. I, I think his head's pretty much in the right place. He's, um, you know, his attitude towards what he has to do is pretty good at the moment. Um, he seems to have just lacked a little bit of, uh, you know, the spark that he's had. And we've done a, you know, we've spoken about that a fair bit. I think in a way he's such an instinctive player that. I think maybe we're giving him too many instructions. You've got to think about doing this and thinking about doing that and handballing to this bloke and doing all these things. And maybe you've just got to say, Reflect. well, just yeah, get yourself right, yeah. go out there and play. And that tends to suit the position on the ground he plays. If you're a full forward, well, you know, I mean, it's pretty obvious what you're going to have to do because you're pretty close to goal. And that's uh, we're hoping that's what he'll do today. To the two Neils in Adelaide, uh, we thank you for your time. And to Neil Baum, good luck this afternoon, Neil. Should be a beauty. Hey, hey.